Hey coaches, uh, putting together a few defensive videos. We're getting ready for spring ball with, uh, with a new staff. So I uh, wanted to put together today, we're gonna do DBs and we're gonna get DBs at linebackers and, and uh, LB or uh, D-line put together so coaches and kids can look at them before we get out on the field. So let's start it. Uh, for defensive backs, our mission, stop the deep pass, come late, come hard on the run. Uh, stance. Our stance is for safeties, they're gonna put their dominant foot forward. They're gonna be in a, a pretty tall stance. Uh, and then for corners, they have to have their outside foot up, uh, inside foot back, just because of the technique we play with that flat foot read. Alignment for corners, seven yards deep, flat foot read, uh, home base is the number. So obviously, you know, with, with, uh, with different alignments from, or different formations, different width of the formation, that, that'll adjust in or out, but home base is always the number, seven yards deep, flat foot read. Uh, for safeties, home base is the hash. They're at 12 yards deep, and they're gonna be in a creep out. So at the snap of the ball, they're gonna start to creep out. If they read pass, they're gonna accelerate their back pedal. If they read run, they're gonna stick it in the ground and fit. Uh, that would be a, a, a line. For tips, just, just a couple basic tips. Number one, we are a, we're a, uh, what is it called? A country cover four, cover three team meaning old fashioned, we're gonna get our eyes on the quarterback. I know uh, people like to read different keys, but I've always read eyes on the quarterback and it's never, it's never led me wrong. So we get our, we're staring at the quarterback and we're, we're covering grass. Uh, tip number two, stop the deep pass. You know, I hate to use that whole, uh, you know, don't get beat deep thing, but that mission, stop the deep pass first. I do not care if people are completing balls in front of us, we'll come up and tackle them. Uh, they still gotta, you know, sometimes they don't complete them on air, let alone under the pressure of a game. So uh, we don't mind giving up some short passes and coming up there and making great tackles and trying to strip the ball out, but uh, we do not, we, we wanna take care of the deep ball. Uh, and that's that deal where, you know, we've all been there where defense is doing a great job. First down does a great job. Second down does a great job. Third down, a DB lets someone get behind them, big play, everyone's demoralized. So our number one job as a DB is take care of uh, deep, deep balls. Uh, number two, just to go along with stop the deep passes, sometimes you'll get two in your zone, lean on the deep one. You know, don't be, don't be the guy that takes away the short pass and lets the long one uh, get behind them. Uh, next one, and this is gigantic, is it is all about the finish. You know, I think I talked about it in another video. You can do everything wrong. And if you have a violent finish where you're pulling an arm out and punching the ball out and ripping people, a lot of times that's all it takes to win that, that play. So it's all about the finish. We want to finish violently every single time. And then it feeds right into, you know, we are a takeaway team. We're a swarm tackle takeaway team. So it feeds right into, heck, even if he catches it, we can get up there and tomahawk that thing out, rip that ball out. We've played those teams before. Uh, you know, as an offensive coach, I played against teams before where they were so fanatical about ripping the ball out of our hands that we were, we, you know, on the sideline, we were like, get, just get down because we were afraid that ball was gonna come out because they were just tenacious about ripping it. Well, that's the team we wanna be. We wanna be tenacious and violent about getting the ball out even if they did catch it. Uh, next one, understand run fits. You know, we are normally, corners have contain and then safeties are either the bounce player or the cutback player. They gotta understand that. They gotta have in their mind, we're a come late, come hard team, but you got a place you got to be. You got to fit into our defense to stop the run. Uh, number next is uh, be a get to the ball guy. You, you know, you're not going to be on our defense if you're not a high motor get to the ball guy. But for DBs, a get to the ball guy, really, now not only are we talking about swarming after the fact, but for DBs, it's we got to be great on the release. When that, when that ball comes off the quarterback's uh, fingertips, we gotta be moving to the ball. So, and, and you'll see, uh, we'll talk about a drill that we do to help that, but we gotta be great of breaking on a thrown ball and getting to where that ball's going. And then the last one, again, it's, uh, you know, I think it's everything is 
You got to be a competition guy. You got to be competitive. I, I like hyper competitive people around me. Uh, you got to be able to contest every ball. You, you know, I always hear these great stories about the NFL, you know, where, uh, you know, the Hall of Fame, Dion wanted to go against Jerry Rice, you know, that, that, that they got their pee hot about playing against the best because they were super competitive. I want hyper competitive people around me. The more competitive you are, you know, we have, we have a saying that says uh, competition is fun and competition makes everybody better. You know, we can all think about, you know, our best basketball game we ever played was probably against our best friend in the backyard, and it was because we were competing full out, and we were, we were having a lot of fun, and we were both getting better. So competition is a big key for us. On these drills, just some basic drills. They have not, nothing fancy here. Uh, start out with the W drill. We just do the five-yard W drill. We're backpedal uh, break, backpedal break, and on that second break forward, we'll throw the ball to them, and then we'll switch it around so they get both sides of that. Uh, next one, we work the fade. Uh, really, we're, we're just working it on air, but we're working the two different techniques. So for uh, for a corner, he's going to thousand one, thousand two, and then he's going to bail and he's going to work to uh, to fade and catch the ball. And in our mind, since we're a zone team. We become the receiver. We see the ball thrown. I am now the receiver. Uh, and then for safeties, he'll work on creeping out, accelerating, zone turning, and working the fade. Uh, next one I call sharp angle. It's just that 45 degree cut where you're backpedaling and then you break them one way or the other, and they they're they're working on breaking forward like they're undercut and outcut. Uh, then the next one's deep angle where they're working, uh, you know, either. Uh, probably a, like a post ball. So they're backpedaling and breaking for the deep angle. Then we come back, post corner. So now, and, and we're, we're big on, we want them to take the baseball turn. So we backpedal them, break them one way, then break them the other way. We want them to baseball turn it and go get it. Uh, then the next, and I think that one's important, not just because it's a pretty, you know, ball drills, everyone does the same ball drills, but to me, this one, to get in their head, there is going to be a time where you make a mistake, where you jumped something that you thought was there and it wasn't there. Well, guess what? We're fine. Baseball turn that thing, work hard for depth, and still make a play on the ball. Four-man tip is where we're trying to get this uh, get-to-the-ball guy mentality in, where we'll have two corners, two safeties, they're, they're, they're zone dropping, working down the hash, and, and we'll have a coach, he'll, he'll take a drop, He'll turn one way, he'll throw a high beat ball, and the first guy tips it. Then the second guy's hustling there. All, th all four of them are hustling to the ball on a thrown ball. Like when the ball comes off the quarterback's hand right there, they all should be breaking. Uh, first guy tips it, second guy tips it, third guy tips it, fourth guy catches it. And we make a big deal out of it when we get it done, because it takes a while to get that done. But we just want that mentality in their head that to be a get to the ball guy for a DB, that means my eyes are on the quarterback and I'm breaking on a thrown ball. And I'm gonna be there to either, I'm gonna be there to do something good. If it's tipped, I'm gonna be there to intercept it. If it's caught, I'm gonna be there to knock someone's helmet off. I'm gonna be where the action is because I'm gonna get to the ball guy. And then the last one, I think, again, going back to violent finishes, this is one of our key drills is trail and finish. So we're teaching two things. We start them in a trail position, so we want them to get this concept of, heck, if you're, if the guy, you know, sometimes the guy's gonna beat you, he's gonna be in front of you. Well, now we gotta drill our eyes to the hip when we get in that position because everything always comes down at the end. It's gonna come down to man-to-man -man technique. So he drills his eyes on the hip. He cannot look back until he closes the distance. And then, uh, you know, we, we do a little baby fade. So he's trailing and then we're working on when the receiver reached out for the ball, we're ripping one hand and swatting at the end. We're, we're being violent at the end, but the big deal on it is take one of his hands. If he, if he can catch that thing one-handed, good for him. Let's, lie, let's tackle him, line up, and play again. But we want to be violent at the end. So trail technique of we all hate it when we've got one looking back and the guy's getting farther and farther ahead of him. So trail technique, you're beat. You're in a bad, something bad happened now. Bury your eyes and make up the ground. Do not look back until you can touch them. And then on the finish, rip an arm out of there. Make him catch that sucker one-handed. Tackle him. If he does, most of them can't. But if he does, 
then tackle them and let's play again. Remember, DBs are the lifeguards. Their job is to make sure we get to snap the ball one more time. I think that's everything. Uh, appreciate you watching, coaches. Thank you.